Good morning, ladies and gentlemen around the country in the craft beer world. It is about the advancement of diversity in craft beer um, for women with families that they support on their craft beer career. And um, today I want to talk to you about the She's Intense Hop and Sting Pink Boots collaboration beer, as well as the other Pink Boots collaborations that we've done for 2020. And um, for those of you who don't know, Beers Giving is not an organization. It is a campaign, and it is a 2020 campaign to help do away with the need for diversity panels. Um, so basically, we are, whether it's physically or virtually, traveling the country, traveling the world, and showcasing to folks that women and people of color um, have a place in craft beer and showcasing what we can do in the craft beer world, because that is not very known. Um, a lot of times, you know, a lot of people's stories, they'll walk into a place and the first thing that they get is doubt from folks. People will doubt their capabilities, doubt what they can do, and never really give them a chance. And beer's given... I guess, I don't want to use this word pivot, but I guess in the absence of being able to travel and host events, has been highlighting what women in craft beer have been doing. Specifically here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we are crushing it. And yes, I said we, because I'm included in that and I'm so excited and proud of that. I'm proud of the work that we're doing out here. The women in craft beer are crushing it from the business owners of the craft beer bars to the business owners of the breweries to the brewers and to the seller women and to the delivery women and to the sales women and the promotional women and the artistic women. We are crushing it in the North Texas beer scene right now. So ladies and gentlemen, I got some news for you. That news, ladies and gentlemen, is that the North Texas Women in Beer of the Pink Boots Society have officially launched the fastest selling beer during the quarantine time anywhere in the country. And I'm not talking about macro beer. Come on now. We all know how macro beer is doing, but I'm talking about for craft beer. I'm talking about for local beer. And I'm talking about a uh, grassroots movement of women and women of color coming together and showcasing what they can do in a time of need. And today I'm happy to report that we are almost sold out of a 30 barrel batch of our triple dry hop double IPA, She's Intense. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, She's Intense is living up to her name. She is intense. So, as of my information yesterday, and there's more sales that will be going out today. Uh, so this information will change. Um, there's about like a hundred four packs left. There's just about a hundred four packs left. So ladies and gentlemen, in a city of two million people, um, y'all need to get out there and get your four pack because it ain't going to be much left. We have uh, a little over a hundred four packs left and only eight kegs. And that probably went down to six kegs overnight. Um, so for the craft beer uh, bar owners, for the bottle shop owners, the liquor store owners, the convenience store owners, if you're not on this, she's intense. Y'all need to hit up Jeremy at Hop and Sting um, because this is selling, okay? If you are having trouble moving any of your inventory, you need to get Hop, um, you need to get She's Intense from Hop and Sting on your shelf because it's going to fly. And I promise you, it's going to bring people in. They're going to pick up a four pack of She's Intense. They're going to browse a little because, you know, they're getting out the house and they're going to buy something else. So get She's Intense. It's for a good cause. Portion of the proceeds go to support the women in the craft beer industry through the Pink Boots Society. A portion goes to the national chapter and a portion goes to our local chapter. So get it, get it, get it.
If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First off, it's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or from computer or even from a previously recorded video. Anchor will also distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more platforms. You can also make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started now. Where can you get this Pink Boots She's Intense Hop and Sting collaboration beer that is available in cans, ladies and gentlemen, the 12 ounce cans? Okay, I'm glad you asked. In Fort Worth, you can get it at Liquorland, Liquor Outpost. And Chick Austies Liquor. In Arlington, you can get it at Fossil Creek and Fuel Up Mart. You can get it at 10 different specs throughout the DFW. Um, possibly Whole Foods. They're dragging their feet a little bit. You know how the big guys are. Possibly Total Wine that's coming up. You can definitely get it at um, Bear Geeks Shop. Shout out to Deidre. <laughs> who is helping us sell this beer out up in Rockwall. You can get it at Thir- Thirsty Growler up in the Colony. Shout out to Andrea, another Pink Boots shop owner. As of this weekend, you'll be able to get it at On Tap in Arlington, as well as Craft and Growler in Dallas. You can also get it at... Lone Star Taps and Caps. Um, there's some other cool places as well. Uh, let me just pull them up here. Sorry, I don't have a producer, y'all. So I got to do this all myself. All right. So Hoffin Beer, Howling Mutt, and Growler, <laughs> which is a dog park bar. They also have it. You can also get it. Um, it's the Las Colinas Whole Food that might be carrying it this weekend. Uh, you can get it up at Down- Denton County. There's quite a few places in Denton County you can get it, including the Bearded Monk and right next door at Denton County Brewing. So you can definitely support local just by going to that beer alley over there and doing your pickup make sure you you throw in a four pack of your of the she's intense or get a, a crowler of it other fine locations where you can get this throughout the dfw include but are not limited to great vine beer and wine market street accounts um Little Elm Craft House, shout out to Little Elm Craft House, who helped us do the virtual release of She's Intense. Three Flights Up, Lone Star Beverages, and also, um, I believe there's a Kroger that's carrying it also. So ladies and gentlemen, you know, get out there to your favorite beer shop, see if they got it. And if they don't, (laughs) Talk to the manager or owner and tell them you need to put in an order for this. She's intense because it's going fast. Like I said, we have less. Th- we have a little over a hundred four packs left. That means, ladies and gentlemen, only four hundred. Sorry, only four hundred sips left of this can, and uh, only a hundred people can get this. So you you got to get out there and find it. Get up to the brewery. You know you don't have to search the city trying to find it. <laughs> If it is that you your local um, beer shop doesn't have it and they're dragging their foot on it and they're like, oh, no, we don't know. It's a new product. We don't want to test it out. First off, they're saying that they don't want to support the ladies of North Texas in, in beer. So boop, boop to them and head you on over to Hop and Sting, okay, and get it straight from the source. You do that. Hit me up on Beers Given. 
or American Woman and Beer on Instagram and let me know what you think of our beer. Take a picture, do a beer selfie, post a little review, let us know how you feel about it if you want us to do something else. And then also, I want you to check out our other beers. So the other beers that we have around the DFW area are from Rar and Sons Brewing. It's Pretty and Pug. It's a chocolate strawberry peanut butter ale. Oh my gosh. I did not think that I would like peanut butter beer. It's good. We also have a collaboration with Martin House that won't be available until they reopen the tap room. That's my pretty lady. So look out for that. We'll be doing promotions for that once they open up again. Uh, you want to get you on over to Funky Picnic and see if you are the lucky person to get the very last 32 ounces of every king needs her crown. Uh, it might already be gone, but you know what? If you get there and it's gone, there are tons of other beers for you to enjoy. And then also, right down the block from Funky Picnic, Hop Fusion Ale Works. We did 16 barrels of a Berlin Rice. That is absolutely delicious. It's called 1989. And trust me, as as the temperatures go up to 90 out here in the DFW in the coming weeks, this is going to be the beer that you want to be sipping on in the 90 degree heat. Trust me, it is like a beautiful, nicely carbonated, hard lemonade, and it drinks like a really smooth limoncello. I need to go and get me like one of those baby kegs of it so I can keep it in my keezer and just be enjoying it on my porch <laughs> um, for the whole the rest of the spring. So it comes in crawlers, it comes in growlers, and you can also buy yourself a keg of it. Uh, so definitely check out Happens Thing for 1989. And ladies and gentlemen, those are the beers that the women in North Texas have been doing for 2020. There's definitely more to come. There's definitely more to come from Beers Given, um, you know, moving about the country and highlighting what women and people of color are doing in the craft beer industry and showcasing how we really are of value to this industry. And I can't wait to get out there again and start to help people get their foot in the door into this industry. Because trust me, it is all that in a bag of chips. It is everything that you think it is. No, it's not corporate America. You know, it, you're, you're not going to be making like $100,000 a year as a seller person. But it doesn't mean that there isn't room for you to make a decent living and to help us grow the industry so we can get to the point where, you know, why not? Why can't the workers of craft beer be making a hundred thousand dollars? You know, why is it that we've got to work off of tips? That's something we should talk about. All right, next time.